Okay, so let's go read this line from the book. Hi, um, Mada Noko 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 Teru Muffin O Ita. So we got Mada again with Iru. Do you know what it means? Let me get these two together. Materu meaning. It is still Hi. leftovers. Hi. I saw that there are still muffin leftovers. Perfect. There's still some muffins left over. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, what did Seiji mean? Seiji. Politics. Perfect. Any idea how to read this word? Ondo. This time. Perfect. So it starts could with be a, next time. It's it is um the next time you do it, which could be if you say it right before you do it, that it's the next was like two seconds after you said it, but it could also be three days later. Um you just you can't be saying it while you're doing it, right? Then then so theoretically it's next, but it means like the very next one time you experience the situation. So it just, we're weird. It's like we say next week and you're like, which week are we talking about? What day of the week is it? Is it Sunday? Is next week's tomorrow? Or like, it gets, it gets confusing because of that. So in Japanese, this is always referring the very next instant we current, whether or not that's one second from now or a day from now. Does that make sense? Versus in English, which I think I, is more confusing. Meaning, if I would if I were to have dinner tonight, yes, I wouldn't say the next dinner. I would say condo. Yes, meaning the dinner that I will have tonight. Exactly. Well, if you're eating dinner right eat. now, you wouldn't use condo to refer to that dinner, but you could use it right before you eat dinner. So yeah, Hi. exactly. Um. Let's go read this line from a while ago. Our goal word, though, is this one right here. And this one. But. Ore wa muffin ni jamu o. This word is to spread on. Right, it is. But the reading is read as no. Close, new. Nuri. Right. Cheese or a Sunday. Kaburi Suita. So Kaburi Suita is like it's right on top. Mm, not really. Kaburu, Kaburi Tuku is to sink your teeth into something. Kaburi Suita is bite into. Hi, hi, hi. So. And then hasande, hasande is a, a cheese in between. Hi, hi, hi. The muffin have cheese in, in between it. And Perfect. so I bite, I bite into the jam muffin, the muffin spread with jam, and it had cheese on the inside. Yeah. Perfect. Um, what is the volational form of to spread in Japanese? To spread a sauce, liquidy like object. We say ni nu yo. Hi. Gonna be o or yo, depending on if it's a do verb or a u verb. So here in this case, it might actually be nu ro. It is. It is yep. noodle. Noodle. You know this because in the previous line, it was um, nudi with a d, which means this is r plus u. Because if this was a um, ruber, it just would be nu, which would look weird. Um, hi, perfect. So let's go read the line from the book. Hi. Um, Kondo wa 
バターを塗ろうかな。Um, so I'm gonna put on some butter.、Um, ピクルスを挟むのもいいかも。うのもいいかも。ベコン、ベコンはもう。ベコン、ベコン。ベコン、ベコンはもう、のそん、のこ、のこ、のこってないから。ないから、is because there's no bacon left. There isn't、はい、any bacon left. p i c u r u s Pickles. Pickle. Okay. Pickles. Asamu. Again, that word to sandwich in between,、mm -hmm. right? Hi.、はい um, Uh, no, mo e e kamo. Um, he's saying it would be all right, probably, to just have pickle.、Mm. So, do you know what kamo means? Kamo, it kamo shire nai. It's so, in the、so. short form. So, in this way here, e kamo. Feels less like the invitation e and more like, hmm, this might taste good in this context. Oh, maybe this would be a good idea. Because the main character, whenever he's thinking about kondo, he's like, hmm, what am I going to be eating my next muffin? And he's like thinking about it. So, first idea, bata o nukaro kana. Second idea, pikuriso asamu no mo i i kamo. And he might be doing both of these since. But. Theoretically, the, the mole here is kind of even more like even mole than also mole.、Uh, but、mm. it's, he might be doing both, thinking about doing both these actions. It's definitely possible. But、right. he's just thinking about how he's going to be eating his next, next muffin. Which,、um, what it, what is, what, how is he going to be eating his next muffin, do we think? I, want, I, I wonder if I should do what? I wonder if I should spread on some butter. Um, maybe even pickles, uh, uh, you know, squish in there, yeah, yeah, and、Gross. bacon as well.、Mm, uh, is he gonna be putting bacon on here? But he s a y uh, because there's no bacon left, because、mm -hmm. there's no bacon left. Exactly,、so、he's thinking about bacon, but then he he realized there's no bacon left. There's no bacon, bacon wa mo no kotte nai kara. Since there's no bacon, maybe it would be nice to add some pickles to my thing with some butter rather than just having butter. So, no bacon, so sad. Um, and we have read um, one third of chapter three. Mani, I have a question about hi, the hi. previous slide with the bacon and、um, butter. Hi, hi, hi. If he had moved the last clause, bacon wa mo no kote nai kara to the front of the sentence. Hi. Would that have m a k e more sense? Yeah, in English.、Uh, for the speaker? In、yeah. English, right? Yeah. So, since you know there's how... no more bacon left, I wonder if I should this time add some butter or maybe even some pickles stuck in there would taste good. Oh, so my question is this is does this mean he often wants because... Yes, but we do、I、that in English、like、as well. Well, things can you, be. You give the, in reason, any order. You give the reason right after、mm. the fact. You, you will also see the subject we mentioned after the fact. Like, it'll be like,、uh, you'll be like, I can't think of a sentence, but you'll see like a sentence ends here, and you'll see like one noun with like wa after it or ga. 
And that is the subject of the previous sentence that just got brought to the very end of the sentence. Because what happened is that we ended the sentence and then we we're re-clarifying something. And this happens in all languages, English as well. Well, it probably happens in all languages. I'm not like a full on language doctor. Um, but normally mm. if you can express something in a language, it can be expressed in a different language. But that this is very common to have things moved about like this in natural speech. So that's when um, punctuation and stuff is kind of important normally. But you'll see this a lot, these kind of movements in manga, which is why manga tends to be harder, I feel like, to read <laughs> than like a novel. Because these are the because because uh, the things tend to make more logical sense, like as a ordering standpoint with um novels and stuff. But yeah, that this if this was like a fully grammatically correct, this would probably go above here. I probably would put it like just above the previous sentence rather than the whole thing being like since there's no bacon left. I think it might be good to stick in some pickles because the bacon is what you would stick inside of something. You wouldn't really spread bacon on a muffin, right? So I would assume that's where I would put it as one sentence. So he's going to butter the um thing for sure, the muffin for sure this time. And then since there's no bacon left, maybe I'll stick some pickles in there. Right. Hey. Make more sense. He said if there's no more cheese, because then it would directly uh, correlate to the last sentence we did, which was I stuck some cheese in there and I spread jam on the muffin. Okay. Okay. So we have seven minutes left. Um, I think so. So here's nobody talking. What does he say? Oi, Kozo. Eat there. Are you listening? Or... Right. Perfect. Um, so right here, you can just read the bolded parts if you want. But the main goal <laughs> is this verb. Right. <laughs> はい。ネットはにらみあってる。にらみあっている。Okay. glare at each other. Perfect. Okay. Nice. You got glaring down. Um, do you remember how to read this kanji? Kawa ka 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 change kawatte. Hi. Perfect. Um, a hikigairu, hikigairu is a kind of frog, random frog. Um, I think it might be toad versus frog, maybe. I forgot, but yeah, I, I, I took a random picture. Kaidu on its own is frog, so hikigairu, I think, is toad. Um, I'm going to skip that because you remembered what it was. So this word right here, how do you read it? Kaeru, change. Perfect, kaeru. Change. And this is a new verb. Um, let's skip that. Let's go read this sentence. Machitsushi wa dorobo o ikigaeru ni kaeta. The magician changed um, the thief into a toad. Perfect. And what does niramu mean? Niramu, um, niramu, niramu, um, niramu. Hi, we saw this earlier to as glare, a, to yes, glare. to glare. Hi, niramu. Perfect. Okay, so let's go read the line from the book. Atama o agetara. Neburiga Oreo Ikigaeru ni demo Kaete Shimai Tsona Atama de Nirandeita. Hi. 
Atama and that word are super similar. Atama has um, the bean kanji because uh, that's the shape your head is. This guy right here, though, has like mirror in it. Nope, it doesn't have mirror in it. I always think it has mirror in it, but it doesn't. Kamo. Kamo. Uh, Kamo. Hi. Kamo. Kamo. Oh, oh. I get that up. When I raise my faith, nobody got or you can me demo. So you have to, with Japanese, when translating into okay. English, you have to get the subject and you have to get the verb and then figure out how the middle stuff fits in there. So if you do things too early, then things don't make any sense. This kaite shimai, so. So we got kaite form with this verb shimau right here, which is combined together. And these two are combined together. So we know that's all a glottal uh, clause describing the kao. But the main essence of the sentence is um, this, basically. Nebri ga ore o nirandeita. What does that mean? Nebri stare at me. Is he, he staring? Me. Yes, he's glaring at me. Staring. Um, and then it says kao de. How would they in an do? What does that mean? Do you think cow? Cow huh. there with a face that yeah, looks he's... like a toad. N not necessarily a toad. So, um, but he is looking at him with a face, and then this face is being described as oreo hikikairu ni demo kaite shimai so na cow. Look at me with a face at mm, this demo is. You can ignore over. the demo. Uh, it just adds he, some emphasis. As if he want to turn me into a toad. Exactly. As if he's a, it's more like a bout, I would say, with the soul. As it looks like that I will be turned, and I'm not happy about this, into a frog. The demo means like, it's adding the stress here. So it's saying, let's take a face that might even turn me into a frog or something. Like, might even, I think, is how we would kind of add that feeling to here. The face that looked like he might even turn me into a toad. That's how, that's how glary his glare was. Oof. Nobody noticed that the kid wasn't kiteruing. <laughs> Wait, Moni, so what yeah. does this shimai mean? Shimai? So you've seen shimai before. It's called shimao. Shimau, which is that oopsie daisies verb. Um, so, you know, you do te form with shimau. We've seen this many times in here. This is the first time we've seen it in stem form, which is like she my mas, and you delete mas, um, which allows you to do certain conjugations. So it's shimai because it's being added to so. For example, taberu means to eat. And so means looks like, and you want to say looks like eating, you'd be tabe so, right? You'd uh, do that with stem form. So this is just shimau. Um, we've seen it um, slur before as um, chao. Chao. Right. Chao. 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 So, the main character is just not happy about this idea. He looks like he's going to turn me into a toad, and that's not a fun thing to turn into. I think when you first learn the word, you called it the accidental word, but it's not really accidents. It, it's, I just call it, oh no, because that always works. Oh no, nobody looks like he's about to turn me into a toad. That's how hard he's glaring at me. So you can always stick an oh no, but accidental doesn't really make sense in a lot of contexts. Shimatta! You know, like curse an anime. Right. Anime curse. <laughs> Done it now. Shimatta! And that uh, is where we're going to end 
for the day. Um, any questions?